Okay. So I've been growing Carolina Reapers all year. And eventually I had to face the music because I've been making it, or making salsa rather, for other people so they can burn their mouths. I've become sort of immune to it. But I know that there's no way to prepare for an entire Carolina Reaper on two tacos. And uh, I'm prepared with milk. But I'm sure it'll go horribly either way. I'm gonna eat I'll eat both. I'll fight like both of them. Screw up. All right, one, two, three. Immediately hot. That's one piece. Two pieces. And the Mac Daddy right here. Very, very hot. Mm. I need to stop for this one. That's half a pepper. I'm gonna go for the full pepper now. This is gonna destroy my stomach. The weird thing about a Carolina Reaper, ghost peppers, it hits the back of your throat. Jalapenos burns your tongue. But a Carolina Reaper just goes straight for the gut and the lips. Can't feel my lips right now. Okay. It is an entire homegrown Carolina Reaper pepper. Down the hatch. Take one more bite. Now, this bad boy right here is Carolina Reaper hot sauce. Or salsa. I didn't put it on there because I figured the Carolina Reaper was going to be hot enough already. Now, I've had a lot of hot stuff. I have a lot of hot sauces. This is top, top 10 hottest things I've ever done. But I, honestly, I can, I can, I can talk. And, uh, yeah. I recommend doing it. Here's a little piece right here that I missed. No chaser. My lips sweating now. It's a lot hotter when you just eat it by itself. 